Welcome to part one of Intro to Style Guide Driven Development. In this lesson, I'll answer the question, what is Style Guide Driven Development? As its name indicates, Style Guide Driven Development is about driving the development using a style guide. But not only that, it's about driving the design and about using a living style guide. Let me show you what I mean. Traditionally, when we think about front-end implementation, we think about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. However, design is also part of it, because this is where the user experience and the interface are defined. Putting it simply, design is the starting point when building an application, so it only makes sense to make it part of the development process. Using style guide driven development, designers can use the style guide created from the application as a starting point for their designs. In that way, the entire process from design to development centers around the style guide, keeping it consistent and up to date. At Batovi, designers and developers cover these areas of web design, design, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, overlapping in HTML and CSS implementation. And we use living style guides to communicate our designs more efficiently and achieve a more polished product. Here's a good example. When implementing this toolbar, as a designer, I would first look at the style guide and bring in the styles that I'll be using. I would also learn what the design patterns that are currently being used and create my design based on those. Then, after multiple iterations, when the design is ready to go and we're ready for implementation, I would create a new page in the application style guide. This would give me a blank slate to write the markup in HTML and the styles in CSS, LESS, or SAS, depending on the project. But it would also give me a framework to work with, because the style guide is connected to the application style sheet. This means that the predefined styles that I used in my design mockups would be available for use in the implementation. So I can quickly implement my own design without worrying about messing up the application, at least not yet. Then I would document the different cases or states where the toolbar would be used. For example, how the toolbar looks when the user is logged out versus logged in, or how the display of new features look in the toolbar. This type of documentation is very powerful because on one hand, you don't have to recreate each scenario in your app, which can be very time consuming. But also having these scenarios side by side allows me to change and try things when implementing, and I can see right away the effect that they'll have across the different use cases or states. Now with this doc in hand, your dev can move along and take care of wiring things up, scrambling APIs, or whatever magic that they do. That is the gist of what style guide driven development is. Up next, we'll delve into living style guides versus traditional style guides.